it's September already, it's time to think about the winter. So today we've got an unboxing video, or should I say a reboxing video for the Radbot, a smart radiator thermostat. Um, it's reboxing because this is going. Uh, we now have some proper smart thermostat in the home and therefore don't need this Radbot. So what this is, is a controller for the thermostatic valve and that will adapt to most different valves. And the idea is that it will help you make some savings uh, without too much hassle, just learning what is it that you normally do. So you, you just put the level at which you would like the heating to be at. And then when you need a boost for 30 minutes, you just press that button here. And that really is it. So you just have two batteries over here, standard batteries. I think we've used rechargeable, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, one of the things to note is that when it goes out the juice in the battery, then this will be turned on so you won't be making any settings. So overall, is that is that a good device? I mean, does it do what it says on the tin, which is save energy by 20 or 30 percent even? I don't think so. I don't think we had 30 percent of savings. Is it easy to install? Absolutely. Is it simple to use and it doesn't need any Wi-Fi? Absolutely. That's the beauty and the drawback of this system, which is that you won't be able to control anything, you won't be able to read anything, it doesn't connect to an app and so on and so forth. So it can be a positive thing or it can be a negative thing. Uh, since we're more on the geeky side, uh, clearly for us it's probably more of a negative. Um, it is compatible with majority of central heating systems, I expect, and it's probably innovative and it was designed by UK engineers, well, good for you there. Right, so, um, um, so that's it. That's the first version. I understand now there's a Radbot 1. This is the first version. I think it's been probably acquired. Um, so that means that they still have found some way to sell those things. They are not super expensive. I think they are £45 new and, uh, and not very much uh, used. So is that a solution? Yeah, maybe. Is it better than not having anything? Yes, probably, because you can control easily the uh, what happens and then as a function of your habits and whether you've got lights in a room and all of that then it's supposed to uh, well intelligently decide whether you need the heating or not i think it's it's okay is it better than nothing yeah maybe uh, but i find that having the control knowing exactly what it does at which point in time which is what you get from the, the standard smart controls I find that a lot easier and better for us. So that's it. Thank you for watching.